practice uh, since the announcement. Uh, the game plan is fully installed. I saw you installing it yesterday. Yep. Uh, you had a nice little good 30-minute meeting with him on the first base side. What have you been telling him about that first game and, and Rice? You know, uh, when you get the back in the season, you, you got finals, you're on the road, uh, you get conference tournament where you're gone for a week, and it's just uh, it, it's hard to get a good solid practice out there where you get a couple hours in to uh, just kind of reiterate some things. You know, leads off left-handers, ball and dirt reads, just some drill stuff that we need to get back into that uh, we haven't done really in almost a month, you know, from that standpoint. So it was nice to be at home to be able to do that, have a good full practice to, to kind of to sharpen up the iron a little bit, uh, you know, go over some fundamental stuff that needs to be taken care of, uh, where we can take care of the baseball defensively, and then run the base like we need to offensively. So much of baseball is strategical. Your opponent does this, then you do this. Your opponent does this, then you do this. What have you learned about Rice in the last three days? Yeah, you know, uh, again, we're going to play to our strengths. I mean, that's kind of what we've always gone into, no matter who we've played. But obviously, uh, different teams have their different strengths when we go into it. And so uh, we just got to be prepared for their strengths. Uh, we, we know their strength is pitching. Uh, we know they've got the, the right hander who, who's got the big breaking ball, who will spin the breaking ball in the dirt. Uh, we've got to do a good job of taking uh, advantage of that. Uh, we've We've got to do a good job of seeing that ball down and uh, putting that pressure on the defense like we have in, in years past. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure they know the report on us as well. They know how aggressive we are. So, uh, you know, we just got to make sure we're fine tuned and ready to go to make, uh, make sure we can capitalize on those mistakes. I've talked to four of your five guys. They said they love that environment in Baton Rouge. I know you're not really big on environment. You'll play in a parking lot if they let you. Yep. Uh, but talk about a little bit about that environment. Baton Rouge is a special place when it comes to college baseball. It is. I mean, when you look at it, it is uh, one of the most historic venues in college baseball. And uh, there's going to be a lot of emotion in that ballpark. And I think the biggest thing for our club and for our guys to do and where I really like our club in that ballpark is uh, we're mature and we, we can handle those emotions. Uh, the ups, the downs, the goods, the bads. Uh, if you got 10,000 fans screaming in your direction or, or against you in your direction one way or the other, uh, I think our guys can handle those emotions up and down. You know, we talk about it. <clears throat> it can't be a roller coaster. It's got to be flatline froggy. It can't ever be too high or too low. We got to keep the same energy level from the standpoint whether we're up by 10 or down by 10, uh, no matter whether it's the first or the ninth. And I think our guys do a good job of that. And that's going to be key in that venue. Uh, last question, I'll let you, let you go get to practice. These seniors, you're getting the chance to, to practice with these senior class mm -hmm. again, to play. Uh, four, five, six, maybe seven, eight more games with them. How important is that to you that you said goodbye on senior day, but you really didn't say goodbye because you're still with them? Yeah, like you said, on senior day, all it was was goodbye to the Pat. We knew we had a lot of baseball left to play, and it was kind of, uh, again, it was the revealing part of uh, getting that large bid. It was a, yeah, a good hoorah for about 15 seconds, and then it was, hey, we got work to do. Uh, this thing's not over. This isn't the end. This is just the beginning uh, of a 64-team tournament, and we've got to go out there and prove ourselves from uh, the first pitch to the last one. Cool.